You're now tuned into the Lady Charmaine Live Show, and I'm your host, Lady Charmaine. And as always, I have another great interview for you today. I want to know, okay, so what do you get when you got Everybody Hates Chris, your girlfriends, also asking, why did I get married and are we there yet? Well, you get my next lethal guest, and I tell you who it is coming up right after this. My guest today is award-winning actress who has appeared in movies and television shows like Girlfriends, Everybody Hates Chris, Why Did I Get Married, and Are We There Yet? And she's here today to talk about the new season of Fox hit show, Lethal Weapon. Help me welcome to the Lady Charmaine Live Show, Miss Keisha Sharp. Welcome to the show, Keisha. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Oh, you are so welcome, and congratulations on the new season of Lethal Weapon. How exciting is that? Oh my goodness, it's exciting because I love the show and it's exciting because we got a third season. That's that's a real big feat um, in television. So um, we're just excited that the fans love the show and um, we're back for another one. And see, this is one of my questions I wanted to ask you because what is it like when you are on a show, you know it's a good show, and then you're waiting to hear if your show is going to be picked up the next season. What is that feeling like in that type of anticipation? Oh, Oh, my goodness. It's so hard because, <laughs> one, you love the show, and you just hope people are watching and loving it as much as you are playing the characters and, mm -hmm. and enjoying the show. And the other part of it is, like, you're sitting on pins and needles, like, are we coming back? You know? <laughs> I hope we're coming back. And sometimes you can wait for a good four or five months um, before you hear the news. So it's, it's hard. It's hard to wait to find out if your show is picked up. But once you get that phone call, you're just ecstatic and... Um, we're, we're hoping for that for season four. <laughs> and see, the, hey, that's, what I, that's what I wanted to know. So when you finally get that phone call, you're on pins and needles, you know, all your nails are gone, your tips and everything else, your manicure is just messed up because <laughs> you've been biting your nails. <laughs> when you get that call, is it just like a big sigh of relief? Do you scream? Do you cry? What is that like to know you have a job next season? Oh, it's ever, it's all of those things. <laughs> it's, um, you first, you say, thank God. That's mm -hmm. for me. Amen. <laughs> um, so, like, I, I had faith. I had faith, and it, it worked out. It was supposed to work out because you got the call. So you're like, okay, we're supposed to be back because mm -hmm. we got the call. And it, then you have a sigh of relief because you know you're employed for the next year. Right. Um, <laughs> which, and, and, and then you get, then the other side, the artistic side, takes over because you want to know, oh, what are we going to do this mm -hmm. season? What's going to be the storyline? That's exciting. Um, so it's all those things mixed up in one. So what? So, so tell us about the new season. What can we expect this third season? Oh, wow. Well, we, we added a new character, as everyone knows. The Rick's character passed away, which was a hard thing for the characters to deal with. Um, so that part happened, and it was heavy because that character has been a part of um, these Trish the Murtaugh's life and just a wonderful character that um, passed on. And so we have a new character played by Sean William Scott, Cole, Cole and it's just, it's taking a whole new life, a lethal weapon, a different angle. The character is so different. He's a lethal weapon in, in every sense of the word. He knows every martial arts there is. He speaks seven languages. Um, but he's so different than the Rick's character. So we're, we're dealing with getting to know him and his life and his family, and it changes the dynamic of everything. But we still have heart and drama and action, and um, it's beautiful. We love it. It's a great, it's a great show and a great new um, direction. Now, you know, I came to know you from Girlfriends, which a lot of people came to know you from Girlfriends because you played a character, girl, that I just could not stand. Ooh, that little bougie Monica. No, I, <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot. <laughs> I said, oh, my goodness. Now, I, I want to ask you a question, Keisha. How far is your character, Monica, from who you really are today? Is, are there any differences or, or similarities? If so, do tell. There's some, I'll say, I'll tell you, there's some similarities and I, and it's, the similarity would be she wants the best for her, her man, right? Okay. So I'm, I'm that way with my husband. Um, but that's probably where it ends. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not like that. 
Um, but what's interesting is people would think I, I was, so if they would see me on the street, they wouldn't want to speak because they thought I was like Monica. And then if if they got enough nerve to say something, then they hear, first of all, my real voice, which is what it is. It's uh, <laughs> um, it's very high mm-hmm. and um, very girly. So they're like, oh, she can't, she, oh, she don't have that Monica voice. Okay, no. she must be different. <laughs> um but then if they were like, speak in Monica, I can quickly go to Monica, you know, mm-hmm. real quick. Um, but we're really different. There's parts of her that are saying she's a strong woman. I'm a strong woman. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm not, I'm not Monica at all. And okay. so people were happy to hear that when they would speak to me. And they're like, oh, good, girl, because I, I didn't know if I wanted to speak to you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, that just means you're but a good actress. I love playing her. <laughs> That's good. Now, do you yes, still keep thank a, you. <laughs> yeah. You still keep a contact with the girls from uh, the show Girlfriends? We do via um, social media. Everybody's so busy. Um, Tracy, as you know, is crazy busy. Mm -hmm. Um, The one I'm closest with is Jill, Jill Marie Jones. Um, But I still talk to everybody. I love Persia. I love all of the, you know, Mm -hmm. the girls. But I'm closest with Jill. But we still, all of us keep in contact via social media. That's good. Now, you, we know that in Hollywood, they always say there's like limited roles for African-American women, although more roles are opening up for African-American women. And I wanted to ask you this question, because when I just asked you about Girlfriends, you, one of your co-stars, of course, I'm um, Golden Brooks, had your role in the pilot. And then you were cast for it for the yeah. regular season. Does that put a strain on your relationships yes. when things like that happen? Because so so many roles African American are few and far between. What does that do for your friend relationships? Well, I think it depends. Um, for me personally, it was hard when I found out. To be honest, um, the the it was given to her during the you know audition process. I heard about it. Um, and I was happy for her, and and I actually went in on it, and I didn't hear anything. So and then I found out she got it, and it wasn't meant for me. That's how I always think of things because mm-hmm. everybody's praying for the job. It, it, you know, it's not just me. So when someone else gets it, I think it's their blessing, not mine. Right. And so when I found out, I got a phone call, and I talk about the story about um, letting go and letting God for me with flying. I had such a fear of flying. It was it's a, a awful. Um, paralyzing fear of flying, and I had to give it up and have faith, and I had this whole moment with God for me of letting go and letting Him, and these blessings started to flow. And it's so, it's one of those things that when your blessing starts to flow, does it? You think, oh wow, something else was taken from someone, and I had, I actually had issues with that. And I felt mm-hmm. extremely bad. It had nothing to do with me, um, but when I found out she lost it and I got it, I couldn't even. Um, the happiness of getting the role was a little not as happy as I would have been because mm-hmm. something was taken from someone that I knew. Um, and that was hard. Mm-hmm. I, I, to be honest, I didn't put anything up to say, hey, I got this role, because I felt bad that someone I knew had lost it. So it was hard. Um, I didn't have any hard feelings um, towards her, obviously. And I hope she didn't. I'm not as close to Golden mm-hmm. as um, the other girls, but I was I hope that she didn't feel some way about me because it had nothing to do with either of us. Right. And even for her losing it, didn't have to do that. She wasn't talented. This had to do with what it wasn't a fit. And most, a lot of us lose roles in Hollywood because it just wasn't a good fit. It doesn't right. mean you're not talented. You just get together with the family and maybe it just doesn't work. Um, so, yeah, it's a, hard, it's a hard thing to do when you get a role over someone you know. It's just hard. It was hard. Well, I want to thank you so much for sharing that and definitely sharing your heart, Keisha. That, that was really a blessing. And I want to remind the audience to make sure that you tune in Tuesday nights to Leap the Weapon on Fox at 9 p.m. Catch my girl, Miss Keisha Sharp, on the show. And again, thank you so much. And Keisha, I want to have you back on the show because I want to talk to you about the Earth the Kids story that I hear that you're going to be starring in. So I want to talk to you about that oh, when I come back. Thank you. I would love to do that. I would love it, love it, love it. Absolutely. We ran out of time today, so I got to bring you back, okay? So thank you so much for coming on the show. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. And again, be sure to tune in to Lethal Weapon Tuesday nights on Fox at 9 p.m. And check out my girl, Miss Keisha Sharp. It's going to be really good. And also, I want to make sure that everyone join my Hot Topics page. It's Hot Topics Real Talk, no chaser. And also follow me on social media at I am Lady Charmaine on Instagram, Facebook, Lady Charmaine Live, and YouTube, Lady Charmaine TV. And to watch these interviews and also other interviews and my Hot Topics shows, just go to 
www.ladycharmelive.com. And again, thank you to my guest today, Miss Keisha Sharp.